ตาแนนแอนน่ารีเซนต์ลีทราเวลด์แอนชีจัสต์เคมโฮมล่าสไนท์แอนลุกอัตเฮอร์พัสลูบงนี่เป็นคลาสสิกเคมิกส์ฉันเคยอยากได้เคมิกส์ฉันแค่ได้ที่ฟิกส์ก่อนแล้วคุณรู้ไหมว้าวว้าวนี่คือสวยงามดูนี่คือจริงๆที่มีจริงจริงมีจริงจริง You would know that this is really a handmade blown glass, because if you see, if you look here, there is. I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, but there is a dimple right there. That dimple is where um, where they would attach this to uh, to a uh, rod, right? And then. Look at this part right here, the supposedly spout of the glass. It's not perfect. Yeah, there is a bit of um, texture right there. So that is um, that is actually an indication that this is handmade, and it is a blown glass. So it is made with the highest quality, you know. Wow. Oh, I wanna use it. Okay. Of course, together with the brewer. Well, well this is actually a brewer. This is a coffee maker. It's, it's a little big, but... <laughs> okay, of course, together with the brewer, you need the paper filter, of And this is how um, paper filters of Chemex looks like. So this is simply a really big um, piece of paper, but it's actually a special paper. Um, they call it the bonded filters. Yeah, bonded filters. I'm excited to brew some coffee with this because people say that coffee made with the Chemex tastes different, right? So, the way you use this is when you pull it out of the box, you simply open one side. Yeah, one side of the fold. You simply open it, then put it like that. Yeah. And then you brew with your coffee like this. You can also use a normal V60 filter here. Yeah, so seam. You fold it on the on the seams and then open it. And then there. But if you do this, it's not really the Chemex experience anymore. Right? But uh, all I'm saying is it's possible. So I don't know how to use a Chemex yet. Um But if I were to guess, maybe we should do a coarse grind because, so as you can see, the sides or the walls of the dripper, since it's glass, it doesn't have anything on it. No texture, no ribs, no indentation. So it's just a smooth piece of glass. So of course the drawdown will be slower but because of the absence of bypass. Um, So I'm thinking we should do like maybe 30 clicks or no, maybe maybe 26 clicks. Yeah, maybe we should do 26 clicks. Okay, I'm gonna prepare my water and everything. <laughs> I'm panicking. Okay. So it says here that it is for six cups. Ooh, it's a bit too much for me. So maybe we're gonna do two cups, which is 20 grams. Um, so for today's coffee, we're gonna use about Nilos Ethiopia Eager Chef Edido. All right, so we're gonna weigh 20 grams. Okay, 
Okay, we're gonna prepare the paper. For today's coffee, we're gonna use the bonded filters by Chemex. Okay, so if you want to pre-wet your filter, um, remember to remember to not put the folds on the spout, right? You see here? You see here? The fold, don't put that on the spout. Instead, put it the other way so that the spout is free of, um, free of paper. That way you can pour out your, your pre-wetting water. Right. So we're gonna pre-wet the paper. See? Now I can throw out the water without without making a mess with the paper. Okay, so we're gonna put our coffee in. So this whole, this whole setup right here is about 470 grams without the water. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do my basic three pour method so that we get faster drawdown. Right. I think our drawdown is fine considering this is the first time I'm using it okay that is 300 ml so the pouring technique that I used is high and fast so we get a little bit more of the agitation while keeping the while keeping the contact time of the water to coffee a little bit longer because of the drawdown of the Chemex. But I think we're fine. Well, the drawdown is normal. It's good that we compensated with the grind size for about 26 clicks. And then when you're done, let's put this here. When you're done, you just fold it again. Hold it here. Ah. Easier, easier to discard actually. And then you throw it away. Okay. Ah. Huh? So here is our. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna try the coffee made with the Chemex. Oh, I feel so, I feel so posh right now. <laughs> because of the, the spout of the Chemex and how it looks, it's so posh. <laughs> Okay. The body is a bit thin, understandably, because we have a really big grind size. But it's actually quite nice.
Uh, maybe next time I need to go a little bit finer. Because I did not expect the drawdown of this paper to be fast. So I'm gonna play with it a little more. And then we're gonna do another video for the perfect recipe for your Chemex using the bonded filters. But right here, right now, it's a pretty good coffee. It's a balanced cup of coffee. Just a little bit thin on the body. But it's a nice coffee. So for now, thank you so much for joining me. Unbox this Chemex. Um, this is my first real Chemex. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm gonna show you more about coffee. Bye!